What is up, YouTube? Colin here, the Wild CEO from the ancestralmind.com, back for a, another carnivore cooking show recipe video. This is a recipe that I stumbled upon recently when I was trying to get more cod liver and just overall high quality seafood into my diet. And so I found this cod liver slash sardine pate that I'm becoming to actually enjoy, right? At first, first time I did the recipe, I was like, okay, still a little bit fishy, kind of kind of have to get used to this, kind of have to get used to the texture, etc. I tweaked the recipe a bit. I used a little bit less oil from the cod liver than called for. What I just made just now, because I'm recording the intro after, is delicious. It really is delicious. And what I do is I pack these into small, these little small mason jars or flip lids. And every meal, I try to have a bite or two. Or if I'm on the go, for example, we watched Star Wars a couple weeks ago, and I didn't want to eat any of the junk food that they had there at the theater. So I brought in a glass container. I had Allison sneak some in for me and ate that during the movie. When you fully go carnivore and you see all the benefits, you will have that same dedication. You will not make excuses for yourself. And arming yourself with recipes that taste good, that you can enjoy, that you can make quick, like this, today's recipe takes no more than 10 minutes tops. That's the key to staying consistent with your diet long term. And so that's the entire goal of the carnivore cooking show as part of this channel is to arm you with the repertoire so that you can make animal-based nutrition tasty and accessible. And the ingredients today requires literally no cooking. I didn't actually cook for this recipe. I did raw garlic instead of sauteed garlic, but that is a tweak you can make. There are also a couple ingredients that are optional that I will talk about when I narrate the recipe. I hope you enjoy episode two of the Carnivore Cooking Channel, a cod liver and sardine pate. Let's get to it. So what you're gonna need is salt, pepper, cod liver oil, sardines in water or oil, a lemon, an egg yolk, some ghee, and then optional ingredients are the coconut aminos, the garlic, and the horseradish. I just like these for adding flavor, so I put them in, but you don't need any of them. First, we're gonna start off with a small food processor. We're gonna grab our sardines, open them up and drain them. Same thing for our cod liver oil. Now, I'm not gonna drain the entire container of cod liver oil, because there's some oil in here that we wanna keep. I'm gonna drain probably half of it maybe even three quarters. And then I'm gonna put both of these in the food processor. Next up, we're gonna grab our lemon. To get more juice out of it, let's roll it, put some pressure on it, and then slice it in half. We're gonna squeeze out using a fork or spoon, get out half of a lemon in juice. I did this backwards, I should have done the rind first, but you'll see, I struggle with it. I'm gonna grab the other half and try to get the rind off this flimsy, squeezed out lemon. Not ideal. This is not ideal. But you're going for the rind of half a lemon, which is only the yellow part. You don't wanna get too much rind of the white because this gets really bitter. Next up are the coconut aminos, and these are optional. Just add a little bit of flavor. It's a soy sauce replacement. I wouldn't use soy. Coconut, nectar, water, and then sea salt. Horseradish is something that I've come to love as an adult. It's actually pretty hard to find, but if you can find some cold horseradish, some real horseradish, it's awesome. I put it in and on everything. So this is again optional. I'm doing whole raw garlic cloves here as a test. The recipe actually calls for cooked garlic, but we're gonna see what happens. And then I do a pretty generous pinch of salt. I'm gonna do about 10 to 15 churns of freshly ground black pepper, which is again optional. I'm doing a squeeze of ghee, one raw egg yolk. This is actually a duck egg, and you can see that deep orange. I highly recommend you find some local eggs, some corn-free, soy-free eggs, and then make sure your work area is clean. Always clean your work area. It's just a good habit to get into. Now, we're gonna take our food processor that has our cod liver and sardines, and we're gonna dump all this in. I put into bowl first just because it was a wider surface area and I tend to miss. As you can see on the left side, I got some ghee on the table. <laughs> Don't waste it. Now we're gonna cover and blend. Probably 15 to 20 seconds is all that's needed. And that looks like perfect consistency. Yep, you want it a little thick. The first time I made it, it was too liquidy and it was kind of rough on the gut, but this is thick and came out perfect. 
From here, you can adjust salt, seasoning, pepper, anything you need, if needed, more lemon juice, vinegar, whatever. The sky's the limit with this. I mean, you can basically you know, add some hot sauce if you want to. Just whatever you're doing in your diet, you can adjust here. And then what I like to do with this is I put these in small glass jars, ideally ones that I'm gonna eat in a couple meals tops. So like this is actually a pretty big size, but I grabbed these small mason jars and decided that I'm gonna put them in here instead because I want to prevent as much oxygen from being in the container as possible because oxygen is what makes food go bad, oxidizes things. So by filling this to the brim in smaller containers, the ones that I don't open are gonna stay a lot fresher a lot longer. And so something like this, I'll probably eat, you know, over the course of like two to three days or depending on the mood, maybe even in a single meal, or single sitting. And these are easy to take on the go. If you need a snack or if you need some protein while you're on the go or whatever it is, if you're going to watch a movie and you want to sneak one in, this is the perfect size to do that. This is just condensed nutrition. Finding a quality cod liver and a quality wild caught sardine. I mean, you just can't go better when it comes to food. This is some of the most nutrient dense food on the planet right here. And that's why I like making it this way and always keeping some in the fridge and just eating a little bit, you know, every day, every other day, whatever. Awesome, awesome food. And our son Daryl loves it. So give it to kids as well. And that's it. This recipe is especially important because it's a way to get high quality seafood into your diet. And generally most people have trouble getting seafood in their diet, especially things like sardine or even cod liver, which is, you know, most people don't even realize that comes in a can. Usually you see it in a supplement form, but you can actually get a whole cod liver and I've never actually had it right out of the can. <laughs> Congrats to you if that's edible for you, but for me, I need to kind of put some prep into my foods, add some lemon, some salt, some, maybe some spices here and there to make it palatable. And so while this is the carnivore cooking channel, we do use certain foods and accoutrements, really small quantities. But again, if you have autoimmune issues or whatever, you can make tweaks to a lot of these recipes. You know, if you can't handle lemon juice, for example, you could do just salt and maybe some coconut vinegar or something like that. You know, depending on what you're doing, almost every single thing in these recipes can be edited or tweaked based on what you're trying to go for. Another note in this recipe is you can actually replace the cod liver with something like mackerel, or you could do straight sardines if that's all you have. So there's a lot of different options here that you can experiment with based on the different canned foods that you can find. Generally, there's a lot of high quality canned seafood available at most grocery stores. So I would encourage you to experiment and maybe take something like this as more of a technique that you can alter the actual ingredients and then just taste to adjust. That's the best way to do it. And that's why when you learn cooking technique, learn a pate technique here, it's not just about whether it's gonna be cod liver or sardines. You can do it with a lot of other foods from the animal kingdom. And that's the goal of the carnivore cooking channel. Hey, hey, Colin here. Thanks for watching that video. I got a free PDF for you. The seven principles of living wild, short and sweet, not long, not gonna be a novel you have to read or anything. Just a simple reference of the things that make you a healthy human. So click on the button below, get that right now. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.